Writing a press release for your next release is essential for your promotional campaign. This press release will be the make or break as to whether you're going to get press or radio coverage. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to write a press release to get the best coverage possible. We understand how difficult it is to write a press release being a musician. Writing about yourself is so hard. It's like writing your CV or writing a bio. Both are extremely difficult, but this press release is essential for your marketing campaign because it's what's selling you and your product. The first thing you need to do is collect all the necessary information together. Start by getting your artist bio and breaking it down into bullet points. Next, you're going to need the private streaming link for the release that you're promoting. The best platform to use is SoundCloud. So upload your MP3 and put it onto private as this is the easiest way for journalists and producers to listen to your release. Next, you're going to need high resolution images. This means over a megabyte. These images need to be of you as an artist, but also the release artwork. Then it's important you just start jotting down some information about you as an artist, whether this be who influences you, any previous coverage you've had, what genre you are, and anything that may be happening in the future. Now you've got all this information together, you need to think about your angle. This is probably the hardest part of writing the press release. You need to find something that makes you stand out as an artist. So if someone starts reading this press release, they want to listen to the release. This angle needs to be something that makes you sound legitimate, makes you sound different from all the other artists out there and makes the reader engaged. Example of some angles could be any previous press you've had, any major names you've worked with, any support slots, any impressive figures, or perhaps something unique about how you created the track. Now you've got all of this jotted down, you can start creating the actual press release. Let's start with the first paragraph. This paragraph is the most important. It needs to sum up the release and what the reader is gonna to continue to read about. This paragraph should explain who you are as an artist, what you're releasing and when, and what they should expect when they listen to it. It should also have the standout point and angle that you've gone in with. For example, if your previous press is really strong and that's the angle you're going in at, then that should be what's in the first paragraph. You could start the first paragraph with, after featuring in Pitchfork, Line of Best Fit and Wonderland, and then continue to explain what you're releasing. From this, the reader is already engaged because they know that you have some legitimacy behind you. Not everyone, of course, has this sort of backing, but this is the sort of angle you should be going with, something that shows legitimacy and makes you stand out. Once you've got the first paragraph written, you straight away need to link the release. There's no point putting it near the bottom because they don't have time to scroll and find it. Direct them to it. Say, stream the track name here. Now you've got the important information out of the way, you need to go into a bit more depth. You can perhaps explain what the song's about, who produced it, who influenced it, and what you're gonna be doing in your future. For example, you can explain that you're going on tour, or perhaps the track was written at a really important time in your life. You need to give the reader some in-depth information about the release, but also as you as an artist. The most important thing to remember is that this person doesn't know anything about you, so you need to explain yourself, explain who you are, explain what you're releasing, explain your story. However, you should definitely try to keep it within one A4 sheet. The people that you're most likely to be sending this to are journalists and producers, and they don't have all the time in the world to read something very long. Therefore, you need to keep it short and snappy, engaging, but also informative. So now you've written the main part of the press release. You've got the engaging first paragraph, you have the streaming link, and then you go into more information about you as an artist. You now need to write the headline. This headline needs to outline everything that's gonna be said in the press release, but also make you stand out. The angle that we discussed earlier is the main part of this headline. You can follow the structure of after securing and then insert the previous press, the really impressive figures, or an award you may have won. Or perhaps you're going down the angle of a producer you've worked with for this track. If that's the case, you could structure it in a way whereby the producer's name is the main part of that headline. Although you want the reader to understand that you're releasing a track yourself, you also want them to understand that this is a track they need to listen to. People are more likely to open an email where they recognize something in the title. Whether that be a publication, a producer, another artist that you supported, this headline is the make or break as to whether someone's actually gonna read your press release. Now you've got your headline. You've got the first paragraph, the streaming link, and the rest of the press release. Then you need to put your images in. It's really important that you choose imagery that portrays you as an artist. You of course need to include the artwork for that release, but you also need to have a picture of you as an artist. This image needs to be high quality, portraying your genre, and also showing a little bit of personality. Sometimes the image alone can make someone listen to your release. It's also a 
essential that you put your social media links at the bottom of the press release. Make sure you link to your most popular social media page above all the other ones, as that's most probably the one the reader is gonna click first, and you want to prove that you're a serious musician. Before signing off your press release, there are a few things that you need to do. You need to make sure that you've proofread it. The worst thing for a reader is finding spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes throughout the whole thing. Don't just proofread it yourself. Pass it around multiple people to check that you've spelled everything correctly. Also make sure that everything's the same font and everything's the same color. One exercise we would suggest you do before signing off your press release is swapping another artist's name with yours. Read back the press release and if it still makes sense, then the press release is way too generic. It needs to be relevant to you. It needs to be specific to you as an artist and not relatable to anyone else. If you've done all these things, you're going to have an impressive press release that you can send to producers, journalists, DJs, and you can get your name out there. And most importantly, get the coverage that you deserve. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to comment and we'll answer them all. Thanks for watching.